Welcome to today's workout. <laughs> Super on time. <laughs> As usual. I mean, you all know. I'm never late. I'm never late to anything. Let's make this a drinking game, okay guys? Every time I start a stream on time, take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are never gonna taste the taste of alcohol ever again. <laughs> if you have alcoholic friends, you should have them play this game. It's a great drinking game. Every time I do something on schedule, take a drink. <laughs> okay, um, five squats, 15 toe presses, and 30 hip thrusts. But I'm going to try and do that routine five times today instead of four. We're going to see if that works. I don't know. I'm like, I already feel my body powering down. So I'm like trying to push myself to like just get the last little bit of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just pushing myself because I know my infusion's coming up. My body is powering down and it's frustrating me. And pushing myself makes me feel better because when I accomplish something, I'm like, yay. You know, just, I don't know if anybody feels that way. But here we go. We're going to try and do five squats, 15 toe presses, 30 hip thrusts. But we're going to do all that like five times instead of four for those of you that just joined. And if you hear the ball squeak, it's Roxy. She wants to play right now. <sighs> but I told her no, so she's like sulking on the couch. But I give it like five or six minutes before she forgets why she's sitting on the couch with her ball in her mouth. And then she's going to come running over here like, oh yeah, it's playtime. That's why the ball's in my mouth. <laughs> okay, here we go. Five squats. Ready to go. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, hold on. <laughs> see? You can't see her, but she's she's right here with her ball. <laughs> Already, like, why am I holding my ball and we're not playing? But hold on, I need to take my fuzzy socks off because my feet are way too hot right now. And that's just, it's, it's detrimental to the workout. <laughs> Heat exacerbates the symptoms, so like when my feet get too hot, then they swell and then my toes just won't work and then my feet won't work and then I'm gonna end up sitting on the floor for a while and I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> I'm working out. <clears throat> okay, 15 toe presses. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
it's okay, Lexi. <laughs> She's like whining at me now, like pushing her ball with her nose. Like, why are we playing right now? <laughs> okay, 30 hip thrusts. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And then from eight to ten without touching anything or without, you know, unassisted, because I can't. Two, three, four, five. Six. <laughs> I'm leaning too hard with my shoulders, not my hips. <laughs> Seven. unassisted today than it was yesterday <laughs> like I said I feel my body powering down <laughs> okay what was I on eight nine okay one more And ten. All right, dope. Hold on. Loosen my pants. <laughs> I hate this. Does anybody else have this issue where it just like the like I don't know the crotch of the pants? Is that what we're calling it? Where like this literally just the crotch that doesn't fit. Like the waist seems to fit properly. And, like, everything below, like, here fits properly. But then it's just, like, here to here is where it just doesn't fit. And I don't get it. Is it because I have a small butt? <laughs> the butt's not a bad word. I love you, Mom. <laughs> okay.
told me this the first the set. <laughs> second set. Here we go. Or yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm on the second set, right? Yeah, I don't remember. This is set two. Five spots. Ready? Go. Maybe. Okay, five squats. Ready? Go. sets of those. 15 throw presses. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Fourteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. And thirty of thrusts. <laughs> okay. Thirty of thrusts. Ready, go. One. Two. And twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. sets to do of each of those so if y'all are bored totally understandable 
but um, set three, five squats. Ready to go. Two. Is ready. <laughs> okay, fifteen toe presses. Ready to go. One. This is set three, by the way, of these. Two. Three. Four. and 15 and 30 hip thrusts set 3 ready go 1 2 3 4 And twenty. Twenty one. Twenty two. Twenty three. Twenty four. Twenty five. Twenty six. Twenty seven. 28, 29, and 30. All right. Set four of five squats. Ready? Go. Four. I don't even know 
almost all went down all the way, but we're counting that as four. <laughs> like one spot in the back of my head right here that's just been itching like crazy all day today. I hope I didn't get a bug bite. I'm pretty sure I don't have. Nah. Because if it was a bug bite, there'd be more spots that itch, right? <laughs> I just need to wash my hair. That's what I need to do. <laughs> okay, step four. 15 toe presses. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, all right, and set four of 30 hip thrusts, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 27, 28, 29, and 30. Oh. I had hair like all up on my face that whole time. I was seeing if I could tolerate it the whole time until I was done doing the 30 hip thrust. I survived. Yay. Okay. Um, set five, last set, five squats. Okay, ready, go. One. Two. Three. Five. 
set 15 toe presses. Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And set five, last set, thirty hip thrusts. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. And 30. Alright. <clears throat> now that I have successfully turned my entire torso into jelly, we're done with the, with the torso stuff for the day. <laughs> and now you I don't know how to say your name, man. What's up? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to take a break for a couple seconds because probably wasn't breathing that entire time. It's not good. <laughs> Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, my body is definitely powering down. <laughs> Can December come yet? Because goodness. Honestly, I'm probably just so tired right now because I uh, pushed myself. I did all those sets five times instead of just four and I was like blitzing through them too I really didn't take breaks so that's probably why my body feels like it's powering down right now <laughs> yeah but I mean hey that's dope I did five sets of squats toe presses and hip thrusts all in a row, no breaks. 
<laughs> That's great. Now I can't do anything else. It was kind of dumb, but I mean, hey. I feel like that's a solid workout though. Like I don't even need to go do stretches now. I don't feel like I feel like my legs are pretty stretched right now. <laughs> Maybe like my torso could be stretched to like I could do I don't know. The ones where your legs are like right out in front of you and you have to like bend your back forward as far as you can go. That's like a good back stretch, right? What's a good exercise that stretches your back? Anybody know? Cuz I could use a good back stretching. <laughs> I could use a good back cracking. Anybody have any tips on how to crack your own back? That would be useful. Okay, gonna do the uh, in and out things, and gonna do three sets each arm of ten. Yeah, maybe seven. We're gonna we're gonna say we're gonna do seven, but if I can make it to ten, dope. But seven, that's the goal. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right. Hold on, I need to like brace myself better. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Goodness. I'm like still reeling from those squats, toe presses, and hip thrusts. Like it's all in my head too. My head feels lightheaded. Also probably because I don't think I've eaten today. Yeah. Yeah, I think I forgot to eat today. That's probably the issue. <laughs> Whatever. Set two, here we go. <laughs> Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Set three. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 
ten. Last set. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, sweet. I thought I was only gonna be able to do seven, but not, I did 10 for like sets, so. Okay, arm curls and three sets of 15 each arm. Ready, go. One, one, two. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven. 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, and 15. She finally passed out on the couch. <laughs> That's adorable. It's adorable. <laughs> Okay, second set, ready? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, and 15. It was like pulling my hair or like pulling a strand of my hair and it was like itching me. I don't know how that would. <sighs> Set three. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. And fifteen. All right. <sighs> That's the end of the arm stuff for now. Guess I'll go do torso stuff. Yay. Okay. Um, four reverse sit-ups counting to ten. And then ten legit... Uh, no. Ten half crunches. Yeah. 
and then three of the like I don't know what to call them yet but where I like sit up as far as I can and then hold it for as long as I can before I start to fall that's what I'm doing in case you can't hear me because I gotta go like all the way over there so I heard that there was sound interference or something someone messaged me and said you can't hear me when I'm like over there so I'm telling you right now that's what I'm doing <laughs> four reverse sit-ups ten half crunches and then three attempted sit-up holds yeah. <laughs> supposed to go. It's because I don't have the grippies on the bottom of my socks and my feet are slippery so because they're dry AF so yeah. Okay first reverse sit up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Number two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number three, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And number four, ready, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay, ten half crunches. <laughs> Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven.
again. We're ready. First one. Ready. Go. Breathe. Okay. First reverse sit up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number two. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number three. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number four. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. All right, go. <laughs> I'll be here on the floor, just chilling. <laughs> All right. stretches right out the ones out in front of you um three counting to 20 ready one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Roxy, it's okay. What are you doing? Roxy, why are you whining? Why are you whining? <laughs> what is the issue? Tell me what the problem is. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Sorry, she was whining. I don't know if you heard her, but she was whining. What you want, huh? Are you gonna be okay? I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Doggy Beans takes precedence. So, <laughs> when she whines, we figure out what the issue is. 
Isn't that right? It's your world we just live in, you know? <laughs> you just want to play. Where's the ball? Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Where's the ball? Go get the ball. Or do the butt scooch thing on the carpet. That's cool. Number two. Now that that's been handled. <laughs> Number two. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number three, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Hold on. My shoulder itches. <laughs> I don't know if... Actually, not. All of you females will understand this. The strap, you know, where the shoulder blade is. If you know, you know, you know. There is no if you know, you know. The you know. <laughs> the strap where the shoulder blade is. That's where it itches. <laughs> it's 100% relatable. Don't tell me it's not. <laughs> okay. Um, butterfly leg stretches. I think these are my favorite leg exercises. I'm not going to lie. Do um, three counting to 20. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right. Number two, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And number three, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. You can see the dog, but she's laying on the floor over here, <laughs> looking at me like I'm the weird one. You're the one taking the nap on the floor. <laughs> well, 
telling you, you're gonna get run over. Okay. Hi, Vernorn. Mm. Oof. I'm gonna do the in and out thingies. And then, um, what do I normally do? Three sets of ten. Just saying hi to you. Hi, damn late again. Nah, it's cool. You're not late. I'm not late. You know. What is that phrase from the Princess Diaries? A queen is never late. She arrives precisely when she intends to. <laughs> it goes, same thing goes for kings, too. You know? It's, it's, uh, what is the word? Transgender? No, that's not the word. I don't know where it's like multi-gender. <laughs> that works for me. All right. First to say, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Transgender. Yeah, I know. I know. Like the like transgender is a thing. I'm. Th what is the word where it's like um where something is like for both genders. Where it's like I don't. <laughs> That's the definition of the word. Where it's like it, it's non-binary. There we go. That's what I'm thinking of. The phrase is non-binary. There we go. Thank you, Bernard. Okay, first set, other arm. <laughs> Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Second set. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <sighs> All right, third, final set. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, done with those. I figured out how to do sit-ups. Ah, that's awesome. Good for you. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> The way you try the trick is to put your toes together. Oh, like you gotta like keep your feet together when you try to do sit-ups? 
I thought you were supposed to keep your feet at like a shoulder width apart basically when you try to do sit ups. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I watched YouTube videos. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional now. <laughs> okay. Um, arm curls. Three sets of 15 each arm. What's a sit up? It's where you like, you, you, you lay on your back and then you put your knees, like, you put your knees up so your knees are like pointed towards the ceiling and then you just try and sit up, but you do as many of those in a row as you can. And you gotta like have your arms across your chest like this. And it's very helpful if you have something or someone holding your feet down. But yeah, I kind of do them in the stream if you wanna go back and watch. But like, uh, cause I can't do a full sit up yet, so I kinda do like a half crunch. But I mean, I get into the position to do a sit up, so. You can see how it's done. <laughs> you can see the starting position. There we go. <laughs> oh, wait. She does them without putting her feet under something for leverage and you try to keep your feet on the ground. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like to challenge myself, okay? <laughs> okay. Um. Was I going to do curls? First set. Ready? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, and 15. <sighs> okay, set two. Ready? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, and fifteen. That's what I was saying. I'm doing this. <clears throat> I have a hard time just getting out of the chair. <laughs> My feet still come off the ground about an inch. It's okay. I feel you just saying hi to you. <laughs> I feel that on an emotional level. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I have a hard time just getting out of the chair. The same, yo, same. <laughs> All right, set three. Ready? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, and fifteen. All right, dope. I'm done with arm stuff. <laughs> I'm not doing any more. <laughs> My arms are jelly now.
But I am gonna go try to do five more squats, 15 more toe presses, and 30 more hip thrusts. So follow along, enjoy. <laughs> squats. <laughs> Maybe. I am just pushing myself today, so I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. <laughs> Ready? Toe presses. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, and thirty hip thrusts. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I'm doing the last 10 unassisted. <laughs> Hopefully I can. We'll see. I have been pushing myself today, like I said, so... Hopefully I can get through this last 10 unassisted and then I'll be done. <laughs> okay. Ready? One. Two. Three, four, five, 
cry. Six. Seven. Eight. <laughs> Two more. Nine. Okay, I'm not counting that one. I was leaning back too far with my shoulders. But that one doesn't count. <laughs> Nine. And ten. Yay. Dope. <laughs> Gotta make sure I'm throwing up the right hand signs, you know? <laughs> in my pants. You guys have been talking this whole time. Uh, damn, that was a good workout. Now I need a beer. See, I... What was it? I even made a rhyme out of it and I forgot the rhyme. I had a friend that was uh that said something about how uh I made a rhyme out of it so I wouldn't forget it and I d like I forgot the rhyme. That's great. But it was basically like a uh, beer does something to your weight, liquor doesn't <laughs> something like that. I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> I have to go, like, reread the whole conversation to remember what it was. <laughs> but, yeah, basically. And then, uh, like, I looked into it. And, yeah, beer has, like, a whole bunch of carbs in it. I didn't know this. But, yeah, beer's got carbs in it. So, beer adds to your weight. And liquor doesn't. But, yeah. So, I'm all about the Jameson and ginger ale. <laughs> that was the whole moral of the story is... <laughs> I'm about the Jameson and ginger ale. <laughs> but I'm also an extremely big lightweight. So like half of one of those and I'm like toasted 100%. Like <laughs> if I ever go to the bar with friends, I always got to make sure that like I order something they're going to like too. Because I'm going to drink like a third of it and be completely drunk. And then they're going to have to end up drinking the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> or else we just wasted like six dollars on a drink and that's <laughs> I can't stomach that <laughs> I hate wasting money <laughs> I did squats too good for you I did them on my how do you do squats on your toes that's impressive so I could do them much faster but I lost my balance I wouldn't want to see me do that I wouldn't want to see me do that either. I don't even think I would. I can barely do toe presses, let alone squats on my toes. But that sounds interesting. I want to get to that level. That'd be dope. Doing squats on your toes. Doing push-ups like girly style. Oh, you mean push-ups on your knees? Actually, I haven't tried ever doing push-ups. I should try doing push-ups. See, I want to try doing um, planks, but... I don't even know how to do a proper plank. I tried watching YouTube videos and, like, none of the descriptions are, descri like, <laughs> this is not helpful. <laughs> I watched, like, three different YouTube videos and, no, none of them are helpful. Maybe I just, I'm not good at following directions, but I don't know. I want to learn how to do a plank and then, yeah, I should see if I can do a, um, a push-up. I just never tried it because I have, like, wrist problems so, I didn't know this, but apparently, the doctor told me, I have a gangly cyst in both of my wrists. Like, how does that even happen? And you know what I'm thinking? When I was back in high school, I played this weird-ass instrument called handbells, right? 
I don't remember this, but I played hand I played handbells. It was a weird instrument. Don't know why I picked it. Probably because I'm pretty sure I thought it was easy. I wish I picked something cool like violin or like saxophone or clarinet. Maybe the oboe. Like something that sounds cool, like a horn. Anyways, okay. But, um, yeah. So I played handbells and like I'm pretty sure... The motions of the handbells or whatever gave me a gangly cyst in each wrist because I'm stupid. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember my high school life. I don't know what was going through my head. Probably that I was just doing something stupid. I don't know. But yeah, weird ass instrument. Probably screwed up my wrists. Never tried doing a push up. Or yeah, push up. So that's the moral of the story. We have faith in you. Thanks just saying to hi to you. <laughs> you don't want to be flipping us <laughs> up. Yeah, I gotta make sure I throw my right hand sign. This is my hand sign from now on, by the way, in case anybody knows. Because it works for anything. Like, a good situation, a sad situation... Or I guess that wasn't the right face. That was more like a mediocre situation. You'd be like, but then a sad situation, you'd just be like, I don't know. <laughs> it's my thing now. I'm taking it. <laughs> That's fun. You can see where people get their emotes if you click on them. Candy's dandy, but liquor is. Uh, candy's dandy, but liquor is quicker. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, yep, yeah, there are certain ways you can position your arms when you do push-ups. So when you get tired one way, you can switch and just meditate and do mudras. It's good for your hand. Okay, I gotta look up what mudras is, but I am down hand exercises. <laughs> Yeah, I looked it up. Hand mudges are a thing. I even... <laughs> Candy standy but liquor's quicker. <laughs> I like that. I'm sorry. I'm digging that. Just saying hi to you. <laughs> Someone should put that in a song. Candy standy but liquor's quicker. <laughs> that sounds like a date rape kind of line. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the hand sign could be pointed down for sad <laughs> like I'm hanging up the phone <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much uh, I'm pretty much done working out for the day so I don't know if you guys want me to just chill here and keep talking or if you're done tolerating me for the day. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just gonna go get food. It's probably gonna be like... I don't know. Maybe a slice of turkey. From like, it's like Thanksgiving sliced turkey. So, it's like a hearty piece of turkey. But I, my roommate's making chili. And I'm waiting until like four more hours until it's done <laughs> so I'm trying not to eat a lot of food because I'm gonna eat a lot of chili later that's that's why I haven't eaten all day because I'm waiting for the chili that makes sense that's why I'm all drained mac and cheese does sound good couldn't find the thumbs up email. Uh, where's the coffee? I had to stop drinking so much coffee because uh, I said it in one of the previous streams, but like coffee exacerbates this nerve in your bladder that makes you have to pee or makes you feel like you have to pee. And like due to the autoimmune disease, that nerve is constantly like agitated and so throwing uh, copious amounts of uh, 
um, caffeine on top of it just really wasn't helping the situation at all. So, yeah, I had to stop doing that right away. I'm down to drinking like one or like a half of a cup a day when I was up to drinking like three cups a day. So, I guess that's healthy, right? <laughs> My body's just like, no. Nah. This whole caffeine thing you're doing is, is not working. We're going to stop that right now. <laughs> I couldn't go start my day without my coffee. See, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm not so much addicted to coffee as I am addicted to, like, the fancy flavors. <laughs> If that makes sense, like, I'm pretty sure I explained this previously, too, where it's, like, if I could get just, like, the Starbucks coffees, but, like, decaf, that'd be dope. I'd be golden. Because I would be drinking that stuff all the time, like, white chocolate mocha. That's, that's, well, um, I'm basic. That's my favorite Starbucks drink. But, like, can I get that without the caffeine so it doesn't agitate my bladder? That'd be nice. <laughs> I'll drink that all day, every day. <laughs> or like, um, I finally tried their, what is it, their caramel brulee latte. That's really good. Can I get that without the caffeine so it doesn't agitate my bladder? I'll drink that every morning. Or like, I want to try, what is it, the like apple crisp macchiato or apple caramel macchiato or something like that. I don't know, but it sounds good. I want to try it. Can I get it without the caffeine so it doesn't agitate my bladder, please? <laughs> You've been talking the whole time, my bad. I have a nice coffee in the morning. Never hot. Never had a Starbucks coffee. You can blame the coffee. <laughs> you've never had a starbucks coffee i'm not gonna lie i think i had my first starbucks coffee like maybe three four years ago i know it was like right before all of this everything with the nmo happened <laughs> so <laughs> but i mean once I did have my very first Starbucks drink, it was it was all over from there. I got addicted to Starbucks immediately. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's all the fancy flavors. That's how they get you. And you never have hot coffee in the morning. See, I used to be that way. I used to only... Actually, I think that was just because it was summer. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Every time we went to go get coffee or, like, anything from, like, McDonald's, I'd always get, like, the frappe. Because <laughs> it was, like, a frozen coffee flavored. <laughs> but, yeah. I need, I used to, like, doing that at school. I think it was escapism. You bring your coffee with you to class. Yeah, I remember that. Do I remember that? No. I lied. I'm sorry. I don't really remember. I think I'm projecting what you're saying into my memories. And my brain's like, yeah, I used to take coffee to class. And and then my logical side of my brain's like, no, you never used to take coffee to class. You didn't even used to drink coffee when you were little. I'm pretty sure I've been told multiple times by my mom cause, and my sisters because they're all surprised that I drink coffee now. And I never, like, I used to hate coffee, apparently. So, yeah, I don't think I ever took coffee to class. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was just my brain projecting whatever you were saying into a random memory. That happens a lot, I'm noticing, where, like, someone will say something and I'll be like, yeah, I remember doing that. And then I'll stop and be like, wait, no, did I actually? Nah, nah, I don't think I did that. 
<laughs> my brain has this issue of like just projecting random things into memories like um the perfect example there is that one memory i told you guys about where the uh one of the few people i remember from my childhood i just remember walking into a music room or like band room or something and seeing them and like they're holding a case of something <laughs> I don't know what instrument it was it could have been a pair of drumsticks for all I know <laughs> but like my brain keeps projecting random images into like that memory so like at first I thought it was a square case of an instrument they were holding and then now my brain is like warping the memory to where it's like it could have been a violin case they could have been holding a pair of drumsticks like I said it could have been like I don't know you know like <laughs> my brain just protects random things into random memories and it's like yeah that that's what happened and then other people are like no no that's that's not what happened dude <laughs> it's not even close to what happened so yeah my brain sucks. That's pretty much the gist of what I was saying. You've been talking the whole time. Let me, uh... I just make a pot and put it in the fridge. See, I used to make a whole pot of coffee, but now... No, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> You're so good at talking. I'm good at talking? Do you know me? You, don't, if you, don't say it in the actual chat, but do you know me just saying hi to you? Okay, then, well, <laughs> that's cool. Good, good to, good to know that. <laughs> Is this gonna be one of those, uh, a stranger that knows me situations again because that happened previously and then this person got upset with me and now they won't talk to me and I was literally just like yo I don't know you I'm sorry but you're being weird <laughs> and then now they don't want to talk to me anymore and I'm like I wasn't trying to be mean I was just being honest like you you're being weird <laughs> I don't know you <laughs> No, I just sent you a donation. Aw, you sent me a donation? Thanks. By the way, guys, I do accept donations. Uh, the donation link is in the thing. I'm trying to save up to save off, to pay off my $7,000 rent debt. So, if anybody wants to help me with that, <laughs> that'd be dope. But, um, yeah, it's only there until I uh, get enough to pay off the debt or, like, until the debt gets paid off. If I pay it off myself, I'm going to take the donation thing down. But, yeah, it's only there until I, until I get the debt paid off and then I'm taking it down. <laughs> Did we miss the workout? Yeah, you missed the workout. I'm sorry. But, I mean, you can go back in the stream if if that's... Because right now I'm just talking. I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just talking. So you can feel free to go back in the stream and then just rewatch the whole thing if you want. <laughs> but, yeah. It's me, Tarzan. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> what is it? The What was that one movie? I have the, I had this stuck in my head. Uh, what is it? George, George, George of the jungle. Watch out for that tree. <laughs> I don't even think I've ever seen that movie, but I have that stuck in my head. I should go watch that movie. 
I have two bucks. Don't give me your money if you don't have money. Like, the world just got over a global pandemic, okay? If you're struggling, don't try and struggle more just to send me money, okay? I'm not asking for money. I just have the donations thing there. So if it's possible, if you want, go for it. If not, don't feel obligated to, you know, it's... <laughs> Sorry, I guess my two cents won't help much. What is your two cents, though? Is this, like, are, are you trying to get personal, though? Because if you're going to be personal about, like, a flip of my hair wild. <laughs> Wait, here, I'll do the other side. <laughs> But, um, yeah, if you're trying to be personal about knowing me, then put your two cents in, like, a whisper or something, like a private chat. But if you just got two cents to say to the world, go for it. <clears throat> I would if I knew how I'd give you one of my two cents. <laughs> I mean, if your two cents is knowledge for Norn, you don't gotta worry about saving it. Go for it. Sp Give it. No, my donation was just a joke. Okay. I mean, I'm still gonna... <laughs> I, I don't know how to respond to your joke. Plandemic... Swing your hair upside down? I don't even know if I can do that. I don't think my neck flips like that, yo. Know. I can do this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright. You said plandemic. LOL, what's up with the swing request? I don't know, but it happened. Now my hair's all crazy. You're welcome. Pandemic. So I have a question. Why do you think the plant the pandemic was planned? Like what would have been the end game for planning a global pandemic? What's the end game here? I'm curious. Like what would have been like if this was a government plot to money? Okay. Okay, now now I'm just thinking I'm just thinking about this a little bit farther, but um if the government was planning to put out a global pandemic that killed a third of the population, how are they gonna be making money? Because the population is what provides the money. Like we spend the money so they make the money. So killing off a third of the population, you lose a third of your income. You see, so what, what, explain, make that make sense. Cover your face with your hair, why? <laughs> the Chinese government, again, again, the Chinese government, they make money off of the rest of the world buying their products so if a third of the population dies they lose a third of their income make that make sense <laughs> a third didn't die they invest in these companies again <laughs> these companies make money off of us buying their products like i i'm just i'm just going to be blunt okay we are cash cows to our governments our governments view us as cash cows okay if if we're not spending money the government's not making money so why would the government like purposefully kill off or take out a third of its own population a third of its own uh, income like what's the end game there whoa, whoa. <laughs> what's the purpose 99.98% survival rate. 
use us to become communist for. That's how I'd phrase it. Lower class, no loss. Okay, so you're telling me that what what was the United States up to? 710,000 plus deaths? And you're telling me that's no loss. Those are human lives. You're telling me that you are... Like, I'm, I'm just going to be blatantly honest. You're so devoid of empathy that 710,000 people is no loss to you? Like, what? That's what you're saying? That's what I'm getting at? I'm just saying. And then, why would... <laughs> Again, so, Renorn, you said that the pandemic is used for... Used as, like, people to become communists or whatever. Uh, I'm, cur I'm curious about that because most governments around the world are or at least okay i'm gonna use the united states as anecdotal evidence because i live in the united states but like the united states government is all republican so why would they purposefully put out a pandemic that would cause people to realize hey maybe we need a more socialist government like why would republicans want socialist government like why would they want a socialist population if they're republican you see i'm confused why like i'm confused make this make sense guys <laughs> um brush your hair upside down you're do you're being weird with this hair thing dude i'm half cuban that's cool not me the government <laughs> I'm just trying to data into structure to answer your question. Control. Okay, look what they're doing with the mandate. How many are losing their jobs now? I'm thinking the real pandemic is being hidden by the fake one. Oh my goodness. The real one is 30% of the population is overweight. That's not the real pandemic. That is a pandemic. Obesity is a pandemic throughout the world. I'm not even gonna lie. But, um, okay, okay. Uh, it's me, Tarzan. You said control. How, again, how is this controlling the population? Because, okay, um, why do us peasants have to get the vaccine but certain employees don't like the White House? Actually, it was mandated that everyone in the White House get the uh, vaccine. Uh, I'm pretty sure every government employee had to get the vaccine, including, like, medical personnel and stuff like that. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but that's just what I heard, is every government employee had to, was forced to get the uh, vaccine. But again, um, getting a vaccine is what's preventing the spread of a deadly virus. <laughs> so, like, the government is trying to prevent deaths because, again, their population is their cash cow. Without the population spending money and buying products, none of them are making money. So they want you to get the vaccine so you live, so you can continue spending your money on them to fill their pockets. This pandemic was not planned. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's just where my logic is going. <clears throat> oh, just saying, you said, okay, look. What are they doing with the mandate? How many are losing their jobs? Again, if everybody would get the vaccine, we wouldn't have these mandates. The only reason we have all these mandates is because we have morons running around going, I don't need the vaccine because my freedoms and they want to sit there and jack off with their guns. Sorry, mom. That was vulgar. I love you. But I mean, like... The only reason we have mandates is because people won't get vaccinated. That is it. 
if y'all would just go get vaccinated, then we could be done with these mandates and we wouldn't have to be sitting here at home in quarantine because morons want to run around screaming, my body, my choice. Well, yeah, it's also my body, my choice to not die because you were running around spreading a deadly virus. Get vaccinated, you privileged... <laughs> extrapolate from that incomplete data. <laughs> um, hold on, I'm missing things you guys are saying. So harvesting, making people more fat. You want to know who's exempt? Probably all of the Republicans who are trying to push this um, whole conspiracy theory that the vaccine doesn't help, which is a lie. Because again, I would love to see Ted Cruz's medical degree. <laughs> Or, uh, what is it, Mitch McConnell's medical degree? I'd love to see it. How many years did either of them spend in medical school? Or, like, Joe Rogan? How many years did he spend studying, like, anything medical? I'm, I'm just curious, because, I mean, he is clearly a medical professional. Like, I mean, he knows that the vaccine was faked and the pandemic was planned or whatever he's conspiracy theory he's trying to push yeah i would just i'd love to see these medical degrees but yeah the government doesn't care about deaths it's never been about health Again, <laughs> you are the government's cash cow. If you're not spending money, the government's not making money. So what would their, like, what's their goal if you die? They're not making money anymore if you die. So of course they want you to live. That's why they want you to take the vaccine. So you live, so you continue being able to spend money. I don't, like, what is hard to understand about this? I just, <laughs> it's just simple logistics, like, with anything, like, with any business in general. Like, a government is a business. A country is a business. <laughs> well, that was a great sentence. A sentence to walk into. You're welcome, Toolbox 701. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you know you can still get it and transmit it with the vaccine. That is true, but you are less likely to. That is the whole point of the vaccine, is you're less likely to transmit it and spread it, which is 99.98% survival rate. I'll take my chances. And again, you're the reason that we still have to sit in quarantine and that businesses can't open and that we have mandates because you're selfish but i'm sorry but you're being selfish by going i'm not gonna get the vaccine like you're literally sitting there going i don't care about other human beings because i would rather my personal freedoms are more important than my next door neighbor's life that's what you're saying at least that's what I'm that's what I'm taking from what you're saying. I'm not trying to be a dick though. I'm just saying dick's not a bad word. Love you, mom. But I'm like I'm just saying that's just what I'm taking from what you're saying because I mean I am one of those people that if I get COVID, I will die. So like <laughs> I had to get the vaccine and I literally cannot go out in public without the fear of getting a deadly virus because I live in an environment full of a bunch of rednecks that go, well, I don't need the vaccine. My freedoms are more important than your life. So like, yeah, I don't know. This just, this agitates me. <laughs> yeah. 
How many shots am I gonna get till I feel safe? Until however many of the medical professionals tell me until it's safe. That's how many shots I'm gonna get. <laughs> Cause I mean, again, they studied medical profession. Well, they studied the medical profession. I did not, you know? These people all went to school for what, 12 plus years? And studied this longer than I've been alive? So, I would trust their opinions more than I would trust my own, or Facebook, or Google, but I mean, that's just... <laughs> yeah, the misinformation going about is crazy. The stats people pull out their eyes <laughs> because they see a random post on Facebook. Tenneth, fifth, I'd rather just... 99.8% survival rate is a great example of Facebook misinformation. It's a complete garbage made up stat. The power of the media. <laughs> I actually gotta look into the 99.8% survival rate. Because I know there's like a whole thing that, um, it was like a whole YouTube video I watched that explained how like, um, when they say, uh, vaccine, like, Oh my goodness, I'm in a butcher trying to explain this. <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> I hope y'all can follow along my brain. But um, okay, so basically when a vaccine says that it's uh you've got like a 99.8 survival rate, what it's saying is that uh you have like a 99.8 uh, survival rate of like, if you get COVID, you're 99.8% likely to survive it. You, um, versus if you don't have the vaccine, you're more likely to, or no, 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 no. Disregard everything I just said. <laughs> that was all false. Okay, if you have the vaccine, you're 99 or, like, I'm just throwing out a number, okay? But, like, this number is not the real number. My phone's about to die. But I'm going to say this really quickly. Um, basically, if you get the vaccine, what they're saying is you're more likely to not experience severe symptoms and need to go to the hospital if you get COVID with the vaccine. Versus if you get COVID without the vaccine, you're most likely, you're more likely to experience serious symptoms and need to go to the hospital and all this, all that and have, you know, long-term effects from COVID and stuff like that. That's what they're saying about the vaccine. <laughs> the vaccine is not some magical magic cure that's gonna just, you get the vaccine and you're magically not gonna get COVID or you're magically cured of COVID. The vaccine is there to make your survival rate, if you get COVID, better. Does that make sense now? <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> well said. Facts do not care about your feelings. <laughs> so again, get off Facebook. Stop. I mean, you should Google stuff. But if you Google stuff, source check your sources. <laughs> You always got to source check your sources. You don't just source check your source. You got to source check your source of the source. Okay? Source check your sources. <laughs> I'll say it a few more times if you want me to. Um, it conflates population with infected. I don't know what conflates mean. What does that mean? Power of the media, guys. At work before your eyes. Are you talking about me? You're talking about me spitting out facts. Or are you talking about someone else in the chat? Because I'm spitting out facts. Everything that I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Whatever. I'll 
go do more research and then we can actually sit here and do a legit political stream why not let's just talk about politics for the whole stream instead of just doing the workout <laughs> But yeah, okay, my phone's about to die, so I gotta go plug it in and charge it, um, and I need food. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, like, hop on Battlefield or something, and you guys can watch me play Battlefield, and then you can hop in the chat and we can still rant about politics, it'll be fun. I'll be doing headshots while telling you about how much I love communist <laughs> I'm joking don't take that out of context I'm not a communist <laughs> bye have a great night so there's 328.2 million people in the USA and fatalities is around 662,000 last I checked that's where the swabbly says come from but that is deeply mis